Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining why you sometimes see what seems to be an explosion inside a ballistic skeleton block during testing and how it affects the firearms community. So if you follow our videos or if you've seen some gel testing on YouTube, you might have noticed what looks to be an explosion occur inside a ballistic skeleton block. That's actually called a sonoluminescent event. Now sonoluminescence is actually not that crazy. It sounds like it is, but it's pretty easy to explain. The physics behind it is actually quite simple. Now, as your bullet strikes the ballistic gelatin, that target's going to expand due to the kinetic energy transfer and suck in air from the atmosphere. Now, we found in about 35% of our testing that the front of the block will actually collapse back down before the bullet can reach the end of the block and trap air inside of it, creating a pressure vessel. Now, what we have here is an expanded ballistic gelatin block and an expanded air chamber inside that block that's low pressure and low temperature. Now, that block wants to reach equilibrium and go back to its original state, which is this shape here. So it collapses back down. Now in this instance, the air is trapped, and so we see a sudden spike in pressure. Those atoms start slamming into each other, those air molecules, and they create friction, and an increase in temperature occurs also. So as it collapses back down, we see that spike in temperature and pressure, and sometimes if that occurs violently enough, we see sonoluminescence, or an explosion that occurs inside the ballistic skeleton, and temperatures in excess of 4,500 degrees Kelvin. Now you can tell if that's occurred in a ballistic skeleton if you don't have a slow-mo camera, because you'll see blackened bits of tissue in the ballistic skeleton. Now, how can that affect the firearms community? Well, last summer we were out testing 9mm full metal jacket reloads just to see what they'd do, and we found that several of the rounds came through the ballistic skeleton, had a sonoluminescent event, and those air cavities actually became trapped inside the uh, gelatin after the event. And we saw an expansion over 10 to 15 seconds of permanent cavity to roughly 6 inches by 4 inches. So we saw a massive increase in the size of the permanent cavity due to expanded hot gases. Now how does that affect human beings? Well, if you're a firearms guy, you might know that one of the causes of death for firearms victims is tensile pneumothorax. That's a condition where your lung gets punctured and air leaks out into the chest cavity, putting pressure on the heart and stopping it from beating. Now what I think might be able to happen is, as that bullet travels through a human being, if a sonoluminescent event occurs, you keep, could see those expanded gases inside the chest cavity creating tension pneumothorax very quickly and stopping the heart. Now I'd love to hear from you doctors or surgeons out there to see if you've ever found something that would uh, match up with this theory. And uh, I think what you would see in that situation is possibly some blackened tissue, burnt tissue inside the victim due to that sonoluminescent event. Now I just thought this was something interesting to share with you guys. Uh, if you have any comments or questions or opinions, throw them down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day.